good morning from in the middle of nowhere. So we are heading to Esperance now, early in the morning, and watch the sunrise here. And I really recommend this campsite. It's free, that's why I recommend it. And it has toilets, so what else do you need? The only thing, you don't have any reception here, only SOS signal. So if you want to still do something nice in the night, download some movies before, like I, we did, and then you can still have a great night watching a movie under the stars and then um, head back. So our plan is now just follow the signs in direction Esperance and hopefully get signal soon to navigate further. <laughs> I recommend if you're driving more rural areas, don't drive at night because kangaroos are nocturnal and they will jump in front of your car. We had like three instances where we almost crashed with a kangaroo but luckily we could break in time. And yeah, they just look for a car and then jump in front of your car or just stand in the middle of the road. So be really careful when you drive at night and try to avoid it. We made it to our campsite now, which is really cute. And it's near the town center of Esperance and near a beach as well. But we are now heading to the beaches I saved before our trip. And basically I accidentally booked an unpowered side, but then uh, I asked, hey, can I change to power side? And she gave me the power side for free because it would only be $5 more. And yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's clean. And there's ducks here everywhere. It's so cute. Obviously there's duck poop as well everywhere, but I don't mind. So we're now heading to one of the famous beaches here around Esperance and taking a swim for the first time because it's actually sunny today. So on our drive, we passed Pink Lake. And you might be wondering, why is it not pink? There's actually a sign that explains it. So we learned the Pink Lake is not pink anymore because of mining, basically, and the rail system, because it decreased the uh, salt in the lake. And now it, there's not enough salt concentration in the water to make the crystals be pink. So now it's a regular lake, but it's very, very bright blue. I've never seen a lake that bright. <laughs>
So we just got back from the 11 mile beach and it's really really beautiful. The water is crystal clear and it's just so quiet. No one's here. It's really different from the beaches in Queensland. And now we're heading to Twilight Beach. This is a Portal Beach so we feel more safe to swim there because all the signs say sharks everywhere so we'd better be safe and go to the Portal Beach. We have just returned from our swim in Twilight Beach and it's really really pretty. Like the water is clear, it looks exactly like the pictures when you google the beach. But now we're really hungry so I think we're going to the last stop here on the ocean road and then have some lunch and then see where else we're gonna go. And we have one more day here at Esperance tomorrow so we'll probably go to the east side beaches. morning today is our second day in Esperance and today we're gonna see the east beaches Lucky Bay and Wharton Beach it was recommended by a friend of mine she said it's the best beach so we're going there as well and Lucky Bay is famous for seeing kangaroos on the beach we'll see if we're lucky today it's really warm today but it's quite windy so we see if the wind is cool or if we need to bring a jacket It was our one and only time we actually went on a road that didn't have asphalt on it and we're really hoping that our wheels would manage because we don't have a four-wheel drive but everything went well, it's not sand so it all went well but we did have to clean the car after. <laughs> We made it to the entrance, pedestrian entrance of the beach now. There's also a four-wheel drive entrance that you can go straight with your car to the beach, but we don't have a four-wheel drive. So when you consider renting a van and you want to pay the extra for four-wheel drive, there's lots of beach access here around Esperance. I didn't see much use for a four-wheel drive before here. So I think only for beaches it's really worth it.
this beach definitely did not disappoint. The, the sand is so white, the water is so clear. I mean similar as Twyla Beach, but it's like no one's here. There's one other car and the beach is like massive. It spreads so wide. No one's here. You have no signal here. It's so remote and you really feel like you're here by yourself at the end of the world enjoying paradise that's what it feels like to me it's i can't even describe it's such a nice feeling to know you're off the grid no signal see these beautiful waves the sand so wide no one's here it's so beautiful definitely come here if you go to western australia it's it's really beautiful Alright, so we just made it to Lucky Bay Beach, it's just here behind me. But now it started raining, it's a really windy day so it swaps between rain and sunny the whole time. Um, we were really lucky at the first beach, it was so sunny. It's still really warm, it's still really warm but here you can see, so sunny, what a nice day. Here's the rain cloud. So we still go to the beach but maybe we wait a bit until this cloud has passed because it is quite windy it will probably pass in the next 10 minutes but then we're gonna have a look at Lucky Bear Beach this is rated the number one beach in the world I think for a few years in a row and so technically it's also the best beach in Australia so we'll see Alright, so we're sitting at the beach now. Um, it is not raining currently, but there might be another cloud coming. The water is beautiful. It's kind of like the same vibe as the beach we've been to before. I think the only special one is that you're supposed to see kangaroos here, but since we are here in the day and they are nocturnal, I don't think we're going to see them and it's quite busy as well. But it's really calm. There's like lots of people here, but since the beach is so big, they're like so far away so it kind of feels as well it's you're by yourself on the beach i realized that i didn't film an outro but basically after that it did started to rain so we had to leave and just cook some leftovers in the van and then um head back to the campsite and then the next day we went back to perth which will be in the next vlog